So as you've probably already worked out from the title of the video, today we are going to be doing a wardrobe or closet declutter together. And this is the second wardrobe declutter I filmed this year. And that's not because I buy copious amounts of clothing and therefore need to let go of lots of it multiple times a year. It's actually because despite decluttering my home now for gosh, at least four years, if not longer, I find clothing really, really difficult to let go of. And it always makes me laugh actually, when I watch other channels that talk about decluttering and minimalism, often they say, you know, if you don't know where to start, start with your closet because it's the easiest place. And I'm always there like, what? No, this is the hardest place because I am weirdly attached to my clothing. But what I've found is that if I kind of do a declutter a little bit more often and don't feel like I've got to let go of three bin bags full of stuff each time, then I find it a lot easier just to let those pieces go that I'm not wearing. I'm also not trying to develop a capsule wardrobe or get to some kind of arbitrary number of items that I own, but I do need to let go of clothing that I'm not wearing because, you know, my house is not a storage unit and I want to develop a wardrobe that I really enjoy, that every piece kind of I can put together and I don't kind of feel that stress in a morning of kind of what can I wear. Anyway, I'm going to stop waffling now and I'm going to start with a cupboard that is on the landing. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can so the last time I did a wardrobe declutter, a lot of you said you found it really helpful for me to talk through why I was letting go of pieces. Um, so I've got three blazers that I'm letting go of and one on the maybe pile. So uh, this one is from Next. It was bought for work. It's in beautiful condition but I haven't worn this in a really long time um, and not just because of the pandemic and working from home. This obviously I bought for work, but you know, I can't remember when I last wore it and I work in a very corporate job and I still, or I did work in a very corporate job, should I say, and I still haven't worn it, but because it's in beautiful condition, I think this would be just much better going to another home. So that one's going to go. This one, again, another little jacket from Next. It is really cute. Um, I loved the kind of neon detailing on it, making it a little bit different, and it's a short cut. But the problem with this jacket, as much as I like it, is um, it actually stops um, kind of at my smallest point, which you would think would be a good thing. But then it tends to kind of almost highlight the bit that I'm a little bit self-conscious about this little bit here. So I feel like I deserve to wear clothes where I'm not self-conscious about my body. So I'm gonna let that go. Again, gorgeous condition. I think I only wore this a couple of times. And I think the reason that I only wore it a couple of times was because I was always self-conscious about this bit. So yeah, I'm gonna let that go. Then this jacket is from H&M. I bought this really because it was a bargain, but I don't know why I bought it. Double-breasted jackets are not a good a good cut for me because I'm busty, um, but this still has the tags on it. Uh, so, and, and it, you know, obviously it's in lovely condition, it's brand new. And I'm sure someone else would really like this, so I'm gonna sell this one. But the other two I'll probably send to charity. Then the maybe jacket is this Ralph Lauren jacket. It's kind of one of those really heavy cotton twill jackets. And I do really like this for summer, but if I'm being honest, it's a little bit small. And if I'm being really honest, it was a little bit small when I bought it. I bought it from TK Maxx. And this is something that I've talked about in other videos. I'm not buying things just because they're a good deal anymore or things to slim into, but it's not a million miles away. I have worn it before and I do like it for the summer. Um, so I might hold on to this a little bit longer. If I do get I'm not sure how long I'm gonna hold on to it, but if I do get to next summer and it's still not fitting, I'll just let go of it and perhaps just buy one new uh, full price that is the right size for me. You know, I just, I often think a lot of clothes that I bought were just a little bit tight and I kept, I would say to myself, oh, well, it's fine, you know, I'll lose those extra five pounds or whatever. And then I never really got the wear out of it. I would have been far better just walking away from it and then buying something full price elsewhere that I could then just wear to death. But we live and learn. Hello. So next up, we're going to deal with this set of drawers. 
And yes, I know I have a lot of perfumes. Believe it or not, an awful lot of those bottles only have like this much left in them, but they're discontinued and I can't get them anymore and I love them. So I kind of like hold on to them for as long as possible. Really silly, but you know, that's how it goes. Uh, there are some on there that I don't love that I'm in the process of kind of just using up for every day. And then once they're gone, I won't replace them, but I just know I'm gonna get comments on the amount of perfumes, but I actually really, really love perfumes. So I don't think I'm ever gonna be somebody that has like two, um, but yeah, I probably don't need as many as I've got there but anyway um, I'm not doing this top drawer because there's lingerie in there and call me a prude or whatever but I don't need to share that with the internet then I'm going to do this bottom drawer because there's all sorts in here so we've got workwear I think there's some other stuff that I've just uh, workwear workout wear and um, I think some other stuff that I've just stashed in here I've got some kind of uh, colder weather stuff here as well and then this drawer. I actually tidied this drawer a couple of days ago and look at the mess. Oh well. Right, let's get started. where I've got to. We've got some t-shirts on the top here. These just need ironing rather than shoving in the drawer. Then I've got this pile of thermal tops here. Now you might think, Kirsty, you don't need that many thermal tops, but actually when it comes to the colder weather, I wear one of these under whatever I'm wearing pretty much every day. And uh, because I don't do laundry every day, it kind of pays to have a selection of them. And I've got them in different colors so that they go under whatever I'm wearing. Then I've got another couple of thermal tops and then just normal vest tops for layering underneath things. I do find that I use these quite regular, so I'm happy to keep that amount. Uh, and though all of those are in reasonably good condition. Then over here, I have kept these, which are a bit of a maybe. These are some combat bottoms from River Island that I bought, gosh, it must be 18 years ago at least, uh, but they're in beautiful condition and I thought I might wear them just kind of in the garden or whatever. Uh, if I don't end up wearing them, then they'll go, um, you know, I'll get rid of them in another declutter. This pair of jeans is slightly small for me, but they're in beautiful condition, so I want to keep those. Then I've got a pair that do fit me at the moment, and then this pair, as you can see, are brand new. I bought these a little while ago when the jeans that I was wearing were a little bit big, and I decided that I would wear the jeans that were a little bit big until they kind of gave up the ghost, and then I would start wearing these. Unfortunately, I then ate my way through work stress, and these, whilst they go on, they're a little bit tight, so, uh, but I don't want to get rid of these because I'm fairly sure that these will fit me at some point soon. Then I have a pair, uh, well, two pairs actually of maybe jeans. I remember buying these. These are labeled as a size 12. They've never been a size 12 in their life. I was a size eight at the time. And I remember trying these on in the dressing room and getting really, really upset that I had to keep upping the size that I was wearing. And I didn't want to buy the 14, which would have been the better size. Um, but really I was just I was just like I can't possibly be a 14 what is going on what I should have done is just walked away from the jeans and not bought them and accepted that this was just a bad batch of jeans not that there was anything wrong with me but there you go then I've got another pair of jeans as you can see they're starting to go a little bit here um, but there is still life in them and I'm wondering they're a little bit small at the moment I'm wondering whether to just let these go or whether to just wear them myself if I fit into them. I'll come back to those. Then here, I've got two pairs of jeans that I'm letting go of. Um, I don't know why I've kept these. This pair have got a hole in the bum and the kind of rip on the knee has gone really, really big. Um, and then these are almost threadbare on the bum. Why have I kept these? Why? Have, I mean, these are freshly washed. Why? Um, if anyone knows what you can do with jeans like this that don't really have any life in them, um, but they're difficult to recycle. I mean, I know I've seen people like cut them up and make bags out of them, but I don't think that's really my style. But if any of you know of ways that these can be recycled, 
please let me know um, because I'd be really interested uh, because it would prevent them going to landfill. And then lastly over here I've got this pile of tops and t-shirts that really are way past their best. Now I always do like to have an old t-shirt or two. I mean I think some of these have got paint on because I like to have a couple that you can paint in or you can do a really mucky job in or I can maybe wear when I'm doing like an oil hair treatment but I don't need this many so I'm gonna have to let go of some of these and some of these as I say they're they're past their best um, and they're not all like 100% cotton so some of them I'm gonna just cut up for cleaning rags. Then I've got this horrible pair of joggers that I am gonna keep hold of because as you can see they've got paint on so these will just be popped in a drawer somewhere so that when I'm doing a horrible mucky job I just pop these on. So I've decided to keep hold of both of these kind of maybe jeans and if I don't kind of wear them within the next I don't know three to six months then they'll have to go. Um, I've probably got somebody I could give these to. These they don't have an awful lot of wear left in them as I say you can see that the elastic is starting to go on them but uh, you know, they'd probably be fine for when I'm just at home or whatever. So, uh, because I always actually really liked the way they looked. But anyway, I'm going to keep hold of these for now. So I've just popped these t-shirts that need ironing back in here for now. I'll do those later. But as you can probably see, I've got quite a lot of room now, which is going to help me kind of reorganize some of my other clothes and maybe get those in here. And I should probably have less jeans actually when uh, kind of some of these wear out or they no longer fit. But I think we will move on now to the next drawer. I've still got these jumpers to deal with. But yeah, there's quite a bit to do. Mm. So this is what we've got. This is a pile of stuff that I'd put aside to sell, but I probably need to put all of the items that I need to sell in one place and then actually start selling it. Then I've got a massive pile of workout wear. I used to go to the gym every single day and therefore I needed quite a lot of um, stuff, but I don't go every day anymore. So I probably could slim that down. Uh, then I've got my jodhpurs for riding, but I haven't been riding. Oh, God, I can't remember the last time I went horse riding. Then um, I've got this massive pile of jumpers. This is a weird one because a couple of years ago when I'd gained weight, I, I just didn't know how to dress this body that didn't feel like mine anymore. And I ended up buying a load of these cable knit jumpers in loads of different colors. And my thought process was, well, they won't date, but I don't think I need this many um, because I've slimmed down a little bit more now. I'm feeling a little bit more myself. So I need to go through some of these. This is a pair of trousers that I would wear, but they should be somewhere else. This is a jumpsuit that I don't know if I'm ever gonna wear again uh, and obviously my christmas jumpers which i love and will not be getting rid of those are the jeans from before that are going but yeah um and then we like i've got an england shirt here i don't know if i would ever wear it maybe i would this is a sentimental pair of sequin hot pants i'm probably not going to let go of those this is a skirt that you'll remember went in the maybe pile from my last declutter that probably could be somewhere better than there so that I actually see it rather than being buried under workout clothes okay let's have a go I really wanted to get it right trying to find some balance in my life but I never really put up a fight didn't follow my dream of a huge amount from this drawer but as you can see I've got quite a bit of space that I can now utilize so with my workout gear I have kept an awful lot of it what I did though is I've moved out all these t-shirts here that are not in the best condition and I've just kept the best condition ones now 
I know that I probably could do with getting rid of more of that, but I am getting back into exercising more. So to save me going out and buying more stuff, I thought it might be wise to just hold on to it for a little while longer. I can always kind of come and thin it out again a little while later. I also let go of this set because it's a size 6'8". I've had it like a million years. I don't desire to be a size 6 anymore. So yeah, I think that I think I can safely let go of that. I've definitely had my money's worth anyway. Then with jumpers I or sweaters, as I know some of you call them, I did decide to keep hold of an awful lot of it. This one in particular, I love this barber jumper. It is so warm. It is not the most flattering piece I own, but who cares when it's cold um this one i really enjoy in the winter months as well it's like a fair isle print and then all of these kind of more cotton cable knit ones uh, these ones are wool i thought do you know what i'm probably better off waiting till the colder weather when i'm actually wearing them to determine whether you know i i actually wear them at all uh, and which ones i can let go of i have popped these out into sort of a maybe this one unfortunately i did really like it's a merino wool version and it was so warm but unfortunately i didn't realize and i threw it in just a normal wash and it has shrunk and yeah i think i probably need to let that go because that's probably more like a six now yeah it's not going to fit uh this um pink jumper then I'm just not sure I'm going to wear this colour anymore, so I might let that one go. Then the jodhpurs I've put to one side, I'm really not sure that I'm ever going to go riding again, and I think these might be a little bit small, so I'm going to try those on. And then these are some more workout gear, and a dead dog, um, some more workout gear. I don't particularly like these bottoms, although they're pretty much new, uh, but I might let those go, and these are just uh, jogging bottoms. Uh, again, I've barely worn them, but I don't really wear joggers, uh, this kind of joggers anyway, so I think I'm, I think they were just a bad purchase and I should let them go. Um, and then behind Coco there, you've got, or uh, they're the t-shirts that I'm going to cut up into rags. For the next bit of decluttering, we have come into another room and we're going to be tackling some of the items on this rail and then some of the items in this wardrobe. So you would be forgiven for thinking, Kirsty, you have lived in this house for a while now, why have you not bought a wardrobe? Why do you still have your clothes on this rack? And I would agree with you, I should buy a wardrobe. But um, it's not that I'm trying not to buy a wardrobe or anything like that. It's just that at the moment, I know that I still need to slim the amount of clothes that I have down. And whilst I'm not trying to necessarily create a capsule wardrobe or get down to a specific amount of clothing, I'm loath to go out and buy any more furniture until I've got to a point that I think, yeah, I'm good now. I've, I've you know, I've, I've got rid of the things that I'm not wearing. So I'm kind of just going with this for a while. And uh, I only actually have this wardrobe, which is not very large. And I've got another one uh, the same size as this just in the corner over there um, so it's not a huge amount of storage but I probably have enough for one person and um, maybe not one person who loves clothes but we'll see about that I just think rather than going out and buying a huge wardrobe there there just isn't any point until I get this down I haven't actually identified a huge amount that needs to go but I have kind of rearranged things on here and popped a load of things that are maybes down here so that it will help me if I don't reach for them in the next few months or so then they need to go. Um, I am going to let go of this pair of Ted Baker trousers they are brand new these are really, really beautiful trousers. They are a wool mix fabric. They're half lined. They're really, really, really lovely and they fit beautifully. But the fabric actually seems to hold on to dog hair. And as a dog mama, these are just not practical. So I'm going to let these go, unfortunately. I'm going to sell those. Then another thing I'm going to sell, I think is this little dress as you can see still has the tags on it and um, it is really nice but i probably should never have bought this because 
I have the same dress in a different colorway and I have worn this and I really, I've worn it a number of times actually and I really, really enjoyed it. Now this is probably more my speed. These, these days I tend to go for a little bit more of a muted color palette, but it just doesn't seem worth holding on to. I did think I might put a um, kind of polar neck underneath it, maybe wear it with tights and boots, but I have so many dresses. I just, I think I can afford to let this one go. So again, I think I'll sell that one and just hold on to this one because this one would still look nice with a polar neck and jeans and boot jeans and tights and boots. So I'm gonna hold on to that one for now. Then another thing that I think I'm going to sell, and you guys can help me with this one actually, is this little jumpsuit. And again, still has the tags on it. Now, I had something almost identical in a larger size a couple of years ago, and I did wear it quite a lot. But I know that this crepey fabric does, it's not particularly breathable. I don't think these are particularly flattering on my body shape. And I think somebody else would look be better in it than me. I just can't imagine me wearing this. So I think I'm going to sell this one. I think I think this would be, you know, someone else would, would enjoy this. So I will pop that on one of the selling sites, I think. If you think I should keep it, let me know. But I think it can go. Um, it's only kind of like a fast fashion piece. Then I have got a couple of maybes. Um, actually, hold on. I'm going to let go of this as well. I don't really wear this sort of thing. Um, I know it's just kind of practical for throwing on, but I think I can probably let this go. I don't really wear this sort of thing. It, you might find it in another declutter later, I'm not promising, but, because I, I have, actually, when I come to think of it, I have thrown this on when I've gone for like a walk um, or on the way to the gym or something, but I don't really wear that sort of thing, so I will see. Then this dress is a maybe. This again has, tags still on it honestly um but i'm not sure this is actually the right coloring for me it is quite a nice dress for the summer but it's a little bit tight for me at the moment and i've noticed in more recent years that i've been favoring dresses where they are a little bit looser that are, that are a little bit more forgiving i used to like to wear everything really 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 fitted when I was younger and I think part of that was because a lot of my friends were kind of athletically built you know they didn't have a big bust um and whereas there was me with you know really big boobs really curvy hips which I know loads of people would be like well that's great and then I have this tiny tiny waist which on the one hand is brilliant but a lot of the time if you wear anything too um, that doesn't nip in at the waist, it makes you look so much bigger than you are. And I think I felt at the time, if I wore stuff really, really fitted, then people would notice that I'm slim. I, I don't know, it was silly really, but I would then end up out with friends or whatever and really self-conscious if I ate or if we were sat down. So these days I do, you know, I want to be really comfortable in my clothes. I feel like I deserve to be comfortable and I want to be completely engrossed in the company that I'm in rather than worrying about, you know, is this bit of fat visible? So I'm not sure about this one. I might let this go as well. Tell me what you, tell me what you guys think, but that's a maybe for now. Then these jeans, they're like a little pedal pusher. I was going to get rid of these, but I've decided I'm going to cut them off into shorts because I have been moaning for a little while that I don't have anything. You know when you're just in the garden, you don't want a bikini on, but you know, you want to be comfortable, but still have a little bit of leg out, then um, I don't really have any that fit me at the moment, but these do fit. So I'm going to cut those off. I think that'd be a really good way of getting more life out of them. And then there are, as I say, there are a few other things. So I've got this caramel and top, which, I think is a little bit on the small side and I don't think it's really my style anymore. So I'm gonna leave that on the maybe. If I don't pick it up, then I'm not gonna wear it. This top is another caramel and top that I've had for ages and oh my God, I wore this to death. I loved it. I would pair it with leggings and I've got a gorgeous um, kind of crossbody bag in a bright orange and some orange sandals. I loved it so much, but I'm not sure it's really my thing anymore. 
but I will hold on to it. It might be something that I can wear around the house and it probably would be nicer than wearing like one of my old grotty t-shirts. This dress, again, I don't know what to do with. This is a Jenny Packham dress. So obviously a nice dress, but really I need it to nip in at the waist for me because otherwise I look pregnant because it just kind of hangs from my, my bust. And at the time that I bought this, everybody was wearing kind of everything. You put a belt on it, a shirt, put a belt on it, a dress, put a belt on it. And I think that looks a little bit dated now, but I might try this because it is kind of nice for the summer uh, months. I also used to wear this in winter with like a cardigan over the top and some, um, some tights. So I'm not sure on that one. And then these are also on the maybe pile. These are some page jeans that I thrifted, uh, or should I say just bought from uh, eBay. They are brand new. They're obviously in beautiful condition because they're brand new, but they've never really fitted me. I'm kind of, I have a love-hate relationship with thrifting for that reason, but I'll hold on to them for a little bit longer, but if they don't fit me soon, I'm gonna just let go of them and let them go to a new home. Then, a couple of other things on the maybe. I have this little dress, which was a work dress, um, and I always loved it. It always looked so nice on, but it does have like a bow on the front. I'm not sure if I'm a little bit old for this kind of cute um, detailing. I don't know, what do you guys think? But I don't know whether to hold on to this or not because it is a nice work dress. And then lastly, I have this little set. It was a skirt and jacket i'm i don't don't think i'd wear the skirt but i might wear the jacket but if i'm being really honest i'm not sure i will so this might disappear before my next declutter because it's in beautiful condition but i don't think i'm gonna wear it it is kind of cool it was by the brand full circle i'm not even sure if they're still going anymore is it full circle i think it is yeah um but they used to make really cool stuff and i would buy a lot of their stuff but yeah I don't think I'm gonna wear it if I'm being honest okay now obviously there's still an awful lot of clothes in here but a lot of these are actually workwear and at the moment I'm not working in a corporate job where I would need to wear some of the types of things that are in there I'm in two minds what to do I don't really want to let go of them because they still fit they're still in beautiful condition and I might end up in that kind of role again but obviously this is good storage space so I'm I'm kind of toying with the idea of getting a nice storage box taking those out of there and uh, folding them up putting them away somewhere so that I still have them if I need them but that they're not taking up any space I've also just got the bag off the top that had all my trainers in and I'm going to let go of these I don't know why I bought these these are a five and a half and I am nowhere near a five and a half I think they probably must be slightly small um but I probably shouldn't have bought them anyway. But my mom has been banging on for ages how she wants some white trainers that she can wear with skirts or jeans or just any old outfit um, that are, you know, just a little bit more plain. So I'm gonna let her have those. I think she will get lots of wear out of them. She's a slightly bigger foot than me. So that will be good for her. And then before you go, I'm gonna just show you some empties. So I only have a quick few to share with you. I tend to share these over on my Instagram stories kind of as and when I use them up, but I know not everyone has or wants to use Instagram, so I thought I'd share them with you here. Um, I don't even know if empties videos are a thing anymore, and to be quite honest with you, I don't really want to keep like a whole box of empties hanging around for like six months at a time in order to do a video. So you might find that kind of on various declutter videos, I tag these in at the end. Anyway, so um, I used this, the last of this the other day. This is the Shantakai Flower Infused Cleansing Milk. This is a beautiful product. I really, really enjoyed it. I tried to make it last as long as possible because it's pricey. I bought this from TK Maxx and, uh, and it was still reasonably expensive for a cleansing milk even in there but I have really really enjoyed it but it is 54 pounds so I just can't warrant that at the moment with how things are so I won't be replacing anytime soon unfortunately then I have the Miss Dior um perfume I told you I was using perfumes up at the moment I love this fragrance it has been one of my favorites for many many years but they keep reformulating it I don't know why like when you've got a good product stop 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 reformulating it and um this is from 
from some time ago and once I knew that they'd reformulated it I tried to like make it last but I don't like to um, keep perfumes too long because unfortunately I've had to throw one or two away because they, they do kind of go off if you leave them too long or let them um, get too much uh, sunlight on them. But I did use this up before it happened to this one. Really enjoyed this fragrance. I will probably go and smell like the, the most recent version see if I like that as well. But absolutely gorgeous perfume. Loved it. Uh, then I have the Caudalie shower gel. I think I've talked about this in other videos. Um, this one in particular, I really love the fragrance of. This is a soap-free, sulfate-free. Um, I think it's paraben-free as well. Really, really like that. Um, uh, you know, my skin is really sensitive. I try to avoid SLSs as much as I can. These are, I think these are nine pounds. So they're not desperately expensive. They're not massively cheap either. But if you're someone like me who finds that SLSs kind of irritate your skin or you want to get away from those kinds of uh, chemicals, then I definitely recommend this. I've also used this, kind of just squirted it into the bath and it works just as well. So really enjoyed that shower gel. Uh, and this smell I find really lingers after you've showered as well so yeah really really like that product will definitely be rebuying and then I've got I've used up one of these Neom Great Day Glow Face Oils you will probably remember in a video at the beginning of the year that I bought these probably December so it's lasted quite well although I have got all the products that I sometimes use but this was really nice I enjoyed it I definitely enjoy using oils in part of my skincare routine so yeah really really enjoyed this so at this point i'm calling it a day for today's declutter now i know i haven't got rid of great big bags of stuff but actually there's a big pile of stuff to sell in the other room there's a pile of stuff um, for the charity shop there's some stuff that i'm going to donate to friends and um, my mum's going to take my trainers and i've also got a pile of stuff that i'm going to cut into cleaning rags now i know a lot of people hate uh, hearing oh, that you're going to cut clothes up but some of those t-shirts they are a cotton polyester blend so they're not easily recycled also um if they're not in a condition that they could be resold at the charity shop nobody would buy them they would just go to landfill so actually cutting them up and me using them in another way is actually a more sustainable way than donating them it kind of it gets more life out of that fabric hopefully that makes sense also i've got a pile here that are maybes i've got some maybes um kind of set aside elsewhere so and if i'm being honest i think some of these will actually be parted with so yeah i'm really really happy with where we've got to today and i just want to say to you you know if you are on a decluttering mission at the moment if you are on a minimalism journey um you know you don't have to clear your house out all in one go. I know that some people love that aspect of it, that you start from messy and you go straight to the new life. But for me, it's never really worked. I find it, I, I just, I couldn't part with things. What I found, and I'll probably do a video, a separate video on it, is by doing it slowly, it's really, really helped me. It, it kind of, it almost becomes like a muscle and you find it easier to let things go when you're doing it bit by bit by bit and not feeling that you've got to get rid of everything you own in one fell swoop. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for spending the day with me. I will have some more decluttering content coming soon because I have been decluttering for a long time but I was decluttering knowing that I would be moving house and there is an awful lot of stuff that I held on to because I said to myself, I'm not sure whether I will need this at the new house, so I'm going to hold on to it for now. But it's coming up to my one year anniversary since I got my keys soon, which is amazing. And uh, yeah, there are definitely some things that now I've been here a long time, I haven't used and I could probably let go of. So keep your eyes peeled. If this is your sort of thing, I will definitely have more coming up. Also, I've just realized that I wore this dress in my last wardrobe declutter, which is quite comical to me. I suppose it does, however, mean that I practice what I preach and I do wear things on repeat and don't really care. It's very, very warm today, so this is kind of floaty and comfortable. Uh, <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.